showed an unwanted sexual interest in her. Is she, in your estimation, a woman who suffers from fantasies in any way, or is she pretty level-headed? She's one of the most level-headed people I know. Thank you, Judge. Is your name Anita F. Hill? Yes. Various psychiatrists have come forward to state as a general principle, not as a diagnosis. Now this man right here, the general principle, the one talking, this guy, there is a he needs Clarence Thomas to be disorder. in so the Supreme Court. They, they need him. You got to get deeper than Justifiably this. Justifiably offensive in any category. And I ask you why, after she left his power, for whatever it was that gave her fear, or revulsion, or repulsion, why did she twice after that visit personally with him in Tulsa, Oklahoma? I get Christmas cards from people I don't see from one end of the year to the other end and do not wish to. I also return their cards and will return their calls. And these are people who have insulted me and done things which perhaps have been degrading at times. But these are the things you have to put up with. And being a black woman, you have to put up with a lot. So you grit your teeth and you do it. Senator Kennedy. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Some people just don't want to believe you. You have to understand that they just don't want to believe you. And they don't want to believe Professor Hill. But I hope, Mr. Chairman, I hope that we're not going to hear a lot more comments, unworthy, unjustified comments about fantasy stories picked out of books and law cases after we've heard from this panel. I hope we can clear this room of the dirt and innuendo about over the transom information. I hope we're going to be sensitive to the attempts of character assassination on Professor Hill. They're unworthy. And quite frankly, I hope we're not gonna hear a lot more about racism as we consider this nominee. The fact is that these uh, points of sexual harassment are made by an Afro-American against an Afro-American. The issue isn't discrimination and racism. It's about sexual harassment. And I hope we can keep our eye on, on that particular issue. And let me quote, Jesse Jackson was the one who created Afro, African Americans. Quote, Jesse Jackson created African American. Don't forget that. And you know he's a coon. Within the last few minutes, we just found out that Professor Anita Hill has taken a polygraph test, and uh, according to the expert that administered it to her, she passed it. She offered to take a lie detector test. That's not the hallmark of someone who's lying. At a golf outing, President Bush said he saw no reason for either Hill or Judge Clarence Thomas to take such a test. I don't want to be in a position of advocating that every nominee takes a lie detector test, and I think it's a stupid idea. Of course, she'll pass the polygraph because the disorder makes her believe she is telling the truth. Republicans <laughs> complaining bitterly that... As our you see what they're doing? Any see what they're doing to Anita Hill? Any result you want. They are crucifying this woman. Sleazy tactic of a Understand this black lawyer. woman is being crucified. It seems to me that in the country... Pay attention. ...band in the middle somewhere... Pay attention. ...their judgment swings from session to session. This afternoon, Anita Hill's friends and supporters made a very credible appearance tonight. His friends and supporters and co-workers are making incredible performances. He's a man of high moral standing. And I tell you that it's not possible that he could be linked with the kinds of things that have been alleged against him here. I have known Judge Clarence Thomas for more than 30 years, and I find the allegations by Ms. Hill not only ludicrous, but totally inconsistent and in opposite to his principles and his personality. She played the role of a meek, innocent, shy Baptist girl from the South who was a victim of this big, bad man. Gerald Thomas, that I have known for 10 years, is absolutely incapable of the abuses described by Professor Hill. 
in my case she had fantasized about my being interested in her romantically a two brutus you too anita extraordinary hearings on the nomination of judge clarence thomas you see the division and are expected there's been divided long in this case divided professor anita hill and judge our clarence black thomas people have been invited back the ripple effect have started that, uh, that when this a, case took place and I bet you so many of y'all forgot about it and to this day the inside war between the black man and the black woman a ripple effect from this case at first we thought it was going to be a national encounter on sexual harassment and now it's do your research it's almost a murder suicide pact between Democrats and Republicans just no one wins I talked to Joel right. Paul He's been getting threatening phone calls and he's worried he won't get tenure. Because he was a character witness for me. Yes. Um. If we can give Thomas's porn rental records, I say we get him. Absolutely not. No, Joe. No. This is a dirty fight. There's no second place. If we don't win, we lose. At what cost, Patrick? I'm getting calls into my office. Hundreds an hour. American citizens saying whatever the hell you people are doing down there with the Coke cans and long dung, ding, whatever the fuck it is, stop it. We have an obligation to make sure we're putting the right person on the Supreme Court. I also have an obligation to uphold the dignity and the credibility of the United States Senate. Yeah? How's that going? This motherfucker, he is dirty. he do anything. See, him and Clarence go back. Him and Clarence go back. He wants Clarence to be a Supreme Court judge. And like I told you, it's deeper than that. It's deeper than a sexual harass harassment case. It's about money for these white folks. It is they'll do anything. what's going on, and there are no real winners. We have gone from shock to discomfort now to a combination of anger, depression, and shame. No, you are not introducing that vile, obvious bullshit. Maybe it is BS, and maybe it's not, Joe. You don't know. It's just like this bogus movie rental stuff. And this Angela Wright, if you want to introduce questionable testimony on national television, oh, I've, I've got a doozy right here. No, we've got the votes back, Joe. We have a solid 51 in the Senate. We'll probably pick up one or two more by Tuesday. So we can keep talking dirty to the nation if you want, but it, it won't change the outcome. Is this who you want to be? A free for all, Joe. There's no somebody rules. who goes after a woman like this with no holds barred. No, this is a street fight, Joe. And if a friend of mine is attacked in a street fight, I'm going to pick up a crowbar. Hey. Take that shit with you. It's deeper than what it is. Let's see how white folks get dirty? They get nasty. He clearly states he gonna get nasty. When the last time you heard of Clarence Thomas? When the last time you heard of him, huh? Pay attention. You haven't heard about Clarence Thomas and God knows probably 10 to 15 years. So I came all the way here for nothing. The committee appreciates your willingness to participate. Willingness. I was subpoenaed. While it is Chairman Biden's desire that you testify, the time constraints we find ourselves under are making that impossible. Time constraints? I've been here a day and a half. So the Chairman would like to withdraw your subpoena. He will enter your deposition into the written record on rebutted. This agreement is by mutual consent. Yes. He would like you to sign it. What if I don't? They don't fill the time with other witnesses. So they really do run out of time. Testify. What? No, no, no. 
by mutual agreement, they say. That is bullshit. Uh, uh, the position is going into the written record so the senators will know what she said. If they read it, which they won't. Which they won't. Yeah. Correct. This was a mistake. This is why I never came forward before. What good have we done? My friend's jobs are being threatened. My reputation is ruined. You will For what? Tomorrow and set the record straight. I have said everything that I came here to say, but they don't want to hear it. They don't care. They only want to win. Pay attention. There's got to be something. Pay attention to what she just said. Pay I'm attention to what she says. You all have worked very hard. Sorry. Pay attention clearly what Anita Hill stated. They don't care about nothing. They just want to win. And they'll dog anybody to do it. This has been going on for centuries. And this is with so many blacks. You will never understand this game that white people play. You think you know how to play it. But when they play it, they play it for keeps. This is what you need to understand. All you black folks that don't even got a clue, you battling your own peoples for the smallest little things. But I'm just showing you how white folks get down. Appreciate your testimony here today, obviously.